So, hallo, herzlich willkommen zurück zu Let's Play Duncan Ronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Wir sind gerade mitten in einer Mordserie, könnte man sagen. Hifumi wurde gefunden und jetzt hier Taka. Toko liegt hier einfach ohnmächtig auf dem Boden. Wir haben hier wieder einen Hammer. Another Hammer. Now it's just a Hammer 4 and it's even bigger than before. Is that suspicious individual responsible for killing Taka too? Toko! Don't tell me Toko too? Relax, she just passed out when she, uh, when she saw the blood. The blood? Oh, that's right, when Toko is... Um, Toko, she has a fear of blood, huh? We've tried everything to get her to wake up, but no luck. Just leave her to be for now. It's like he said, I should just leave her alone for now. However... But why is it just a Hammer 4? Uh, what do you mean? Hmm. Celeste was attacked with just a Hammer 1, then he for me was it with just a Hammer 2. But this time it was just a Hammer 4. What happened to number 3? Ah! What? What's the matter? Well, when you mentioned just a Hammer 3, you just reminded me. What? Out with it. Do you know something? Actually, Taka's not the only one that's been killed. Hifumi's dead too. What? Hey! Hifumi's been killed? Yeah. I see. Which is why you came to get us. Th uh, then we'd better get uh, go check it out. Of course, come on! So Sakura, Byaki and I rushed out of the physics lab. Er lasst Toko einfach nur liegen, super Idee. But as soon as we were out of the physics lab... Oh. Celeste? Aren't you supposed to be waiting in the nurse's office? Okay. Something has come up. Hm. Yeah, I heard. He for me is dead, right? Indeed. Well, that is not all. It is gone. Uh, what's gone? It has disappeared. Disappeared? Okay. He for me's body has disappeared. What? What did you say? What are you talking about? It's disappeared? Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Are you serious? What? What the heck is happening here? Hey! Everyone back to the nurse's office. I practically leapt down the stairs, nearly losing my balance. I reached the nurse's office completely out of breath. I couldn't believe my eyes. Ifumi's body was there just a few minutes earlier. It just disappeared? Me and Celeste went to the bath. Me and Celeste went to the bathroom. But we were only gone for like a minute. And then when we got back... Indeed. This must be the work of the culprit. They must have come and carried the body away. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around frightened and confused. Okay. You're all going to die here. You're going to die just like those guys died. What, what did you say? I don't believe this. I don't believe a body would just disappear. Why? First there were two murders and now one of the bodies has been taken. No, has been taken. This is unnatural. Hold on, what do you mean two murders? Duck has been killed. We found him in the equipment room. No way! It can't be Taka too! It can't be. It can't be. No! Hina. Hina, calm down. We're all gonna die. All of us. They're gonna kill all of us. <laughs> Then who might the next target be? Toko? Huh? What? I completely forgot she's still unconscious in the equipment room. Well... You left her at the scene of the crime? We didn't have a choice. She passed out and she refused to wake up. Huh? So she's still unconscious? Damn. Wait, so you kn uh, knew she was still up there and said nothing? Why? <laughs> that annoying little insect that clings to me wherever I go. We'd be better off without her. Bastard! You bastard! Calm down, you forgot about her, didn't you? You have no right to blame me. 
Everyone stop fighting. Right now we need to hurry back. Huh? I can't take this anymore. I don't want anyone else to die. Bin ich das oder schauen ihre Augen so ganz leicht versetzt? Damn. Yuck here. If something's happened to Toko, I'll never forgive you. We shot out of the nurse's office and bolted up the stairs, heading back to the third floor. We ran back to the equipment room at full speed. And when we got there... Toko! Thank God you're okay. But right away I noticed there was something very different here. It was gone. Toko's body, which should have been right there, has disappeared. This is. This can't be happening. Oh. Are we all? Are we hallucinating all this or something? No, it's not a hallucination. I know I saw it before, and what I'm seeing now isn't what I saw before. Huh? What are you saying? Taka disappeared too. Stop talking. Stop saying disappeared. It didn't just vanish into thin air. Obviously, whoever did this has hidden the body. But why would they do that? I couldn't possibly begin to imagine. Anyway, our costumed suspect is clearly continuing his crime spree. We gotta hurry up and catch him before he kills all of us. Not possible. Oh, I don't think you have to worry about that. Think about it. Who could possibly be responsible for killing and hiding these dead bodies? Well... Um... When Hifumi's death cry went up, everyone here was together on the third floor. It is so. After that, we split up into two groups. <laughs> and now this time, you all came here as a group from the nurse's office. In other words, the only ones who could have done this are Hiro and Kyoko, who are still missing. Hold on a second. Kyoko has an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. There's no question that she was in the dining hall with us. <laughs> you seem very adamant about defending her. Perhaps you are... in love? That's not it at all! That's fine. Well, anyway, yes, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Let's see... Which means that the suspicious individual we're looking for can be none other than... Hiro. <laughs> Which further means that there will be no more murders. The regulations are very clear about that. Oh, that's right, there's a rule that ca says you can only kill a maximum of two people. That's right. As long as that rule's in place, there will be, uh, not be a third murder. If they were breaking the... Uh, well, no, if they were to break that rule... Shit! I'd mince ya! Mince ya without a second thought! Mince ya, grind ya, turn ya into paste! By the way, did you know that fish paste can also refer to shellfish, like shrimp or crabs? Indeed. Let's see. So since two people have been killed, there is no possibility of any more. Perhaps. You knew that from the beginning, didn't you, Byakuya? Which means you knew Toko was never in danger. I still meant it when I said we'd be better off without her, though. In other words... Anyway, with that in mind, we can now relax and search for the two missing bodies. The two missing bodies. Two people have been killed and their bodies have been hidden. The only one without an alibi, the one who could have done it, is Hiro. A hero. But is he really the killer? And what about Kyoko? If she's not involved in this case, where did she go? What? Hey Makoto, what's the matter? Uh, oh, no, it's nothing. Whatever, we need to find those bodies or a little narrative you can't move forward. So then... Very well, then let us split up and begin searching. But... But... <laughs> There's no need to be afraid, no more murders will take place during this case. Cause, I mean... I know that, I mean, I think I do, but... You know, if you're still nervous, I'll come with you. Huh? Okay, thank you. <laughs> no need to thank me. <laughs> Then let's get moving. Yell if you find anything. Byakuya left the equipment room followed by the others. I have to try and find the two missing bodies. Y 
Ich muss zugeben, ich weiß, wo die sind. Wo man die findet. Das weiß ich nämlich wieder. Zumindest meine ich mich daran zu erinnern. Und es ist sowieso der erste Ort, wo man gucken würde. Zumindest würde man erstmal hier reingehen. We need to search for the, uh, for the bodies that have disappeared. What happens after that? Ja, ich wollte mir nicht die Wand ansehen. Huh? Where could the two dead bodies have disappeared to? Also ich meine, es ist hier. Huh? The door must be locked. Oh, okay. Da wundere ich mich jetzt. Da müssen wir uns wohl anderweitig umsehen. Okay. Moment. Äh, schon wieder falsche Taste. Dann ist hier lang richtig. Kann auch sein, dass ich mich jetzt irre. Habe ich das falsch im Kopf? Ist ja lange her, dass ich gespielt habe. Aber wir müssen uns umsehen. Wo sind die Körper? Hier schon mal nicht. Hm. Ah, ich glaube, jetzt können wir tatsächlich, ähm... Ach nee, ich bin in die falsche Richtung gelaufen, nicht voll Horst. Moment, Orientierung ist nicht meine Stärke. Hier war dann noch... Hier waren noch Klassenräume. <lacht> Niemand da? Makoto. Why are you standing here? We need to get to the res a repository. Uh, you mean... Indeed. I found them. Ifumi Taka's bodies have both been hidden in the repository. Goodbye. I've already told Hina and Sakura. We'll go on ahead. The bodies were in the repository? Ich drücke mal wieder die falsche Taste. Egal, ich weiß ja jetzt. Das ist, glaube ich, tatsächlich die Tür, die eben noch abgeschlossen war, oder? Are the bodies here somewhere? Hm. I have to wonder where they could have been hidden. That is the repository. The doorknob turned. I guess it's unlocked. Then I have no choice but to go inside. So I opened the door. And when I entered, I saw... The two bodies that had disappeared were right there. The smell of blood made me gag. What I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. And then I heard the announcement for a second time. A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, The class trial will begin. Und irgendwas Großes, Schweres ist hier gerade bei mir vom Fenster vorbeigefahren. Ja, super. Danke auch für den Lärm. Hm. And so here we are. It's the Monokuma File. Ja. Without further ado, let me give you all the next Monokuma File. <lacht> How it's going to hand them out when you found the bodies the first time, but I thought something might happen. It was really hard to resist, but... Turns out I was right! Just hand it over already. Punishment is waiting for you. Now make sure to investigate with all of your mental might and prepare for the class trial. See ya later! Okay, see ya later! Hmm. Well then, now that we've found the bodies, all that's left is to uncover the culprit. What the heck? Hold on! How can you be so... so calm? I mean, they're dead, you know. That's terrible. Dead, gone forever. They're never coming back. Awful. <laughs> This is just all too awful. <laughs> Ina suddenly burst into tears. She clutched at Hifumi's lifeless body. Who, who would 
do this? Why? Why? Large wet tears fell from her eyes. The tears landed on Hifumi's cheeks. Is this was uh, if this was some world of make believe that might have been when Hifumi opened his eyes, but this wasn't a movie. This wasn't. He's alive again. Where am I? Cold. So cold. Is winter coming? Hifumi, wake up! Huh? Ah, that's right. I remember now. Hope's Peak. Come on, you gotta wake up! I remember everything before I met you all. I met you all. <laughs> His memories are all blending together. He has nothing useful to offer us. Oh, the light. It's reaching out to me. Like the tail of a Comet. Hey, Ifumi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. I remember their name. Y Yasu. Hero. His eyes closed, and they never opened again. Death for the second time. Absolute undeniable death. No matter how many more of Fina's tears splashed his face, there was no second miracle. Reality set in again. <laughs> this isn't some stereotypical fantasy world. Tears can't restore a person's vitality. Honestly. You have no tears, do you? No blood in your veins, no calcium in your bones. At least you have your meat. Stop talking. You're just angry. Going out of his way to return just to leave us with those unnecessary dying words. Now this game has become exceedingly boring. Huh. He said Yasuhiro, right? Then perhaps... Yasuhiro Hakakure. That's the only person he could have been referring to. So, in other words... And with that, the case is solved. Assaulting people and even killing Taka and Hifumi. And then going so far as to hide their bodies. A criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers. Is that what Hiro is? What is this? If it's true, I can't forgive him. No way I can ever forgive him. To kill two of our friends! Anyway, it's about time we track down the culprit in our little life or death game here. Although, this time it's not all that life or death. The trial will conclude without much trouble. Indeed. Yes, it does look that way. It's going to begin again. We have to go through this one more time. I have to accept it. I have no choice but to go through with this, to make sure everyone survives. I just have to do it. Investigate. First I'd better check the Monokuma file. The victims were Hifumi Yamada and Kiyotaka Ishimaru. The cause of death for each was a blow to the head. It is thought that they were both killed with a similar weapon. That's it? Very strange. Yeah, it's pretty strange. We got way less information this time than before. <sighs> that is no problem. After all, the events of this case unfolded before our very eyes. We should know more about what happened than the Monokuma file could, anyway. Hmm. Maybe. Well, there's something else that's bothering me. Hmm. Someone else has been missing for quite a while. Are you talking about Kyoko? Perhaps. 
Without a doubt, she has an alibi for when Celeste and Tifumi were attacked. But what if the killer wasn't, uh, wasn't acting alone? What if they had an accomplice? An accomplice? An accomplice? What are you doing here? Monokuma appears! Don't be rude, I'm here to answer your questions! What question? Yep. You're talking about accomplices, right? I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I? During the first class trial. Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? In other words... So basically, you can be an accomplice if you want, but there's no gratification in it. So then... So you're saying nobody worked together this time either? Hey, um... Sorry, can't answer that. It would obstruct the free exchange of information between you guys. I just want to make sure you don't forget, no matter how much you might assist in a murder. Phew. Only one Blacken can graduate. An accomplice gets nothing. So in other words... Then we only need to figure out who that one Blacken is that did the killing, right? Just like normal. Well... Okay, okay, let me take this opportunity to clarify the whole shebang. The shebang. In this class trial, what you need to determine is... The one true blackened to devise the murder plot and put it into action. The true blackened? So just one person? Well now. That's enough for explain a fine. Now it's down to the final battle between all of you and the blackened. Good luck to all the contestants. So there can only be one blackened. An accomplice wouldn't benefit. Then I can't see any way Kyoko would be connected to this case after all. You may be right. Um... If that's true, then Kyoko, where are you? However... As long as she's not connected to the case, it doesn't matter. Let's get back to the investigation. Indeed. I have absolutely no doubt that Hiro is responsible. But for the time being, I suppose it can't hurt to pursue further information. So, um... You know, don't you think we should consider a certain someone a suspect just in case? I'm talking about the murderous fiend. Genocide Jack. What? what? I'm offended. Oh. Yeah. You. When did you? <laughs> I've been looking all over you, Master. When I woke up, you were nowhere to be found. You anyway, you there, milk sack swimmer girl. Huh? Milk sack? You gotta be kidding. Why do I gotta be suspect? Well, I mean, you are a serial killer. What, 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 what? So what? I'm like a special guest suspect every time. I have an alibi, you know. Hmm. She's right about that. When we heard Hifumi scream, she was with me. And when the bodies disappeared, she was still lying unconscious in the equipment room. Plus, Taka's body aside, I can't imagine any way she would have been able to move Hifumi's body. Yep. Besides, I calculate every move I make. I'm not gonna kill someone when everyone knows what I look like. <laughs> they don't call me the murderous fiend for nothing. What are you saying? That's not the kind of thing you should be bragging about. Let's see. On another topic, should we post a guard by the bodies like before? We can't have them disappearing again. So then. Hina and I can handle that. You don't mind, do you, Hina? Hmm. Sure, I'd be totally useless on the investigation anyway. It's all clear now. Then that's that. Let's begin. This whole thing is so strange. All but one of us has an alibi, so figuring out who did it should be obvious, right? But maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as it seems. Yeah, Monokuma Fall 3. Und ja, die genaue uh, Investigation machen wir dann wenn es äh, in der nächsten Folge weitergeht. Ich hoffe, ihr habt Spaß, dass konstruktive Kritik vielleicht ein Däumchen nach oben, da ist jetzt eine Menge passiert. Ihr könnt ja eure Ideen auch in den Kommentaren lassen. Wer hat 
diese beiden umgebracht. Und ja, dann sehen wir uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Das wäre das Let's Play Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Bis dahin, Cheerio!